Last offseason, Marissa Scholl took the softball community by storm when she announced she was transferring from Arizona to Arizona State. I caught up with Marissa to see what her biggest factors were in her decision to transfer. And frankly, her reason is fairly simple. I just looked at it as another opportunity to stay in the Pac-12. And I mean, it's in my hometown, so the different atmosphere and culture is different. And I'm, I just fell in love with it. Being in that atmosphere, like, it's a fight, it's a battle, and I mean, I'm glad to be on the other side now. At age 16, Marissa Schold was already a household name in the Grand Canyon State softball community. In 2018, she was the Arizona High School Softball Gatorade Player of the Year. In 2020, Schold boasted a 420 batting average before the season was put to a halt. But with a different team comes different objectives. I have goals for myself, I have goals, but those don't come unless I um, drive for the goals through the team first and I mean I just want to be my best, the best version of myself on and off the field and help them get to the Women's College World Series. I think the process is the most important thing. If we have, all have each other's backs and do what we need to do, we should be good. We have enough talent for sure to make it there. As for ASU softball head coach Trisha Ford, she has high hopes for how the Territorial Cup transfer can fit in. For me, it was um, a really good fit because I think um, her insides match up really well with my insides and she's a, a true competitor, um, loves to win, she works her butt off, she will not be outworked. She is somebody that if you give her you know, okay, this is what you need to do, X, Y, and Z. She'll work on it morning, noon, and night. She understands the bigger picture. It's never about Marissa. And I think that, to me, is, is, is huge. In the year 2020, nothing can be taken for granted. But one thing is certain. With the addition of Marissa Schold, expectations should be high for the Sun Devils. Reporting from Farrington Softball Stadium, Harris Hicks, Cronkite Sports.